kind of want to film in my passenger seat today. Let's try my passenger seat. <laughs> this kind of just feels wrong, you know? But I kind of like it better as far as lighting goes. So, hi everyone. I haven't talked to you in a while. There's been a lot going on, obviously, as everyone knows. So I'm just gonna do a little like life update type Q&A thing. Basically, the vlog that I wanted to upload today is not done because it's just been like really rainy and so I haven't been able to film. So today's been the first day I've been able to film for a while. My dad's about to pull up beside us in his car. Hi, dad. What are you doing? I'm filming, you wanna say hi? What? I'm filming, you wanna say hi? Look out my wallet. <laughs> Where did you go? All the way to the grocery store with no money. Okay, bye. Sit. The next vlog will be featuring my dad, so look out for that. That's that on that. That's why we're doing a Q&A today. So first, as a general life update, um, obviously I'm in quarantine. Everyone's in quarantine. That's nothing new. If you saw my, if you saw not my last video, but the video before that, you'd see how um, university students are reacting to this. My dog's walking around the outside of my car. She's confused, but she also doesn't want to get in. Hey, you want to come in here? <laughs> Georgia decided to join us today, so there's Georgia. She's uh, she wanted to come in here for a little change of scenery. You have anything to say? I very love you. I'm obviously doing college online now, but I already had three out of my five courses for the semester online, so it's not really that big of an adjustment for me. So I've been doing pretty well. It's just uh, being isolated from the outside world because. It has been an issue for me because I usually do my work at a Starbucks or like at my local coffee shop. That's been really annoying just to be stuck in the house, but obviously there are people in a lot worse situations. But I get to spend a lot more time with my dogs, so that's good. Georgia, do you like having me home? Okay. If you didn't know, I have four siblings and then I have two big dogs and so our house is never quiet. Usually when I do my online work, everybody's at school or work and I get to have the whole house to myself with my dogs and now everybody's home all the time. At least I'm not super lonely because I have so many siblings. <laughs> Also, I was gonna put this in my life that they as like a good thing, but now it's kind of like a sad thing. I was accepted into a study abroad program for the summer that was fully funded in China, which obviously isn't happening anymore. It was a really cool like cultural and language exchange and I was really excited for it because like it's a free cultural trip, like that's really cool. But obviously that was canceled. Hopefully I'll be able to go next year, but I don't know yet. And then also, I was accepted into the fall voyage of Semester at Sea, which is like the coolest study abroad program ever and I was so so excited to be accepted to it, but due to the world situation, um, the fall 2020 voyage has been pretty much cut in half and the route completely changed so we were originally supposed to, I'll like put a picture on the screen of what the original route was supposed to be, we were supposed to start in Hamburg, Germany and in Tokyo, um, Japan, I think. And then since obviously everything in the world is bad, they changed it to a Central American route. So I think that we start in, well, we still start in like the Canary Islands or something, so off the coast of Spain. And then we come across the Atlantic into Central America, South America, go through Panama Canal and end in Costa Rica. And so that's kind of a disappointment because it obviously got cut in half and I was expecting to do a semester abroad and now it's just gonna be like a month and a half. So I'm planning on switching to the spring 2021 voyage. So if anyone's doing spring 2021, hey, what's up? I don't know if I can do that yet because I'm going to be a senior next year. So I don't have a lot of classes left that I need to take. So it's really hard to like mess around with my schedule to try to make everything fit. I'm trying to like see if I can do some kind of independent study to get one of my classes that I need to do out of the way because I've really been overloading myself and it's kind of starting to bite me in the butt because I can't do the semester C program that I want to do. Maybe, I don't know. That was just one big ramble. I hope that that made sense. I think that's all I have for life updates, really. I don't think there's anything really going on in my life besides that. Yeah. But now we're going to get in to the questions that you guys gave me on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because a lot of you aren't and that'd be really cool if you did. Not saying you have to, but if you feel like it, I guess. I don't know. How do you feel about the Corona shiz? At first, I didn't really, like it wasn't really on my radar. I was kind of like, well, it's in China. But then 
it started to go everywhere and then I'm like okay this is kind of like scary and then now we're all stuck inside our houses so that kind of sucks and then all my travel got cancelled so that also kind of sucks but there are people in a lot worse situations than me so I can't really complain I have a stable house I have food on the table and I'm healthy so advice for students new to doing online school because of covid time management slash motivation tips this summer i started doing classes like majority of my classes online maybe i'll do like a whole video on an organization but i feel like a lot of people have already done that kind of thing i make a weekly to-do list a weekly due dates list and then i color code each class make a schedule and try to stick to it that's my biggest tip monday tuesday time i'm like so motivated to do everything so i try to do as much as i can those two days when you're feeling motivated do as much as you can because when you're not motivated you're really not going to want to do anything how do you stay motivated to keep making videos during times of low audience engagement so there have definitely been times where i wish videos had done better it's kind of disappointing when something you work really hard on either a gets demonetized immediately or b doesn't get the audience engagement that you thought it would because like you're putting your heart and soul into these projects and then when you put them online like you obviously want them to be received well you want to be able to have something to show for that whether it be like making money off of a video or like having like a solid amount of audience engagement so it is a little bit discouraging at times when things that you want to do well don't do well but at the end of the day for me personally like this isn't my full-time job this is more of like a side hustle this isn't what i'm relying on for income i mean it is my only source of income right now but i i really think of this as like a creative outlet and as long as i enjoy what i put on my channel then i guess I don't really care if it does well like it's nice if it does well and I like really like it blows my mind that people even watch my videos but yeah it's just you have to be confident in what you create what made you start your channel and do you have any tips for beginners I started my channel when I was in high school and a lot of my early videos are private because they're extremely cringy but I wanted to start a channel since I was in like seventh grade I started a channel because I wanted to be Bethany Moda I actually met her. I went to her summer camp she did with Tyler Oakley. That's a throwback. Those vlogs are still public if you want to watch them. They're very cringy, but they're there if you want to see them. I always really liked making videos. I always made videos like on my family's cameras and never did anything with them. Tips for beginners, just do it. Just go for it. Full send. Your first few videos are going to be awkward. You can always private them later. That's all I have to say. Honest opinion on being a YouTuber. So when I first started my channel, I was really scared that people would talk about me because I'm obviously putting myself on the internet and like being myself, I guess. So sometimes it's hard to be yourself because you never know what people are gonna think about you. But at the end of the day, you need to just, I don't know, just get over it. And that's what I did. And even if people had things to say about me, I just, you just have to have the confidence to keep going. And so it's hard sometimes, but it's really, really fun. I've met some cool people. I've gotten some cool opportunities, even though my channel is pretty small and I've gotten to make some money, so that's pretty good. But I really like having like a sense of community in the comment section, especially when people like respond to each other. That's like really crazy. Or when people send me DMs, oh my God. When people send me DMs, I've gotten a lot about like going to Kingston or like studying abroad, like people telling me that I, have motivated them to do that and i think that's like like it makes my heart so happy that people like are actually impacted by my videos i think it's really sweet that was like a really gushy answer but it's the truth if you could live in any country in the world where would you live well it's no secret that i want to move back to london <laughs> so i guess i could say the uk so i could go back there hopefully i'll go back there if i do um, a graduate program or a, like a master's degree london's a very expensive place and i don't have any money other than that, I don't know. I don't really think there's anywhere on my radar that I like actively want to go. Favorite place you've traveled? That's a hard one because I like every place that I travel for different reasons. I think the first one that came to mind was Geneva when I got to see my friend Estelle. I hadn't seen her in two years and we had so much fun during that trip, except for the last day I got really sick, but we don't talk about that. Or Iceland. Iceland was absolutely beautiful both times I went. Dream vacation with endless money. I'd probably do like really really bougie vacation in like fiji or like bora bora somewhere that's like really expensive to get to because it's fully funded you might as well go to the most expensive place dubai oh my god that'd be really nice favorite piece of clothing right now obviously my sweatpants are a great 
part of my wardrobe, but in general, I like getting cool pairs of jeans. I'm sick of skinny jeans, absolutely sick of them. This winter, I really loved my puffer jacket, but now it's spring, so I'm not gonna wear it. <laughs> How long did you stay at Kingston and why did you leave? I stayed at Kingston for a year and I feel like not a lot of people realize from the video that did really well when I was at Kingston that I was just an international student um, doing study abroad, not an international student as like a full-time student. I did a sandwich year or a study abroad year, whatever you want to call it. And so I was only there for a year. I wanted to transfer, so I didn't want to leave, but it didn't end up working out because my credits didn't transfer. So I would have essentially had to like stay back a year and graduate a year late and then that would have been like twenty thousand dollars down the drain for me because i had already done a year of university but i really wish i could have stayed and i want to go back and visit my friends i think she thinks we're going somewhere but i'm in the passenger seat so how would i even drive if you have anything else you want to know about my life right now leave it in the comments down below i read every single one i try to reply to every single one if i can i'll tell georgia what you have to say too if you want to say something about how cute she is also, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. This is the most social interaction I've had in weeks, and I'm literally talking to myself. Stay safe, wash your hands, stay at home if you can. Peace out, peace, love, happiness. Georgia, how are you surviving this pandemic? Do you have anything to say? Georgia, are you sleeping? Here, I got this for you. Go. Okay, I love you.